Okay, if anybody's watching, uh, they should be by now. Uh, I am going to make myself some soup with uh, hot and grown vegetables and uh, some frozen vegetables and um, a bought vegetable, namely this, namely this, namely this guy here. Now you might be able to see the uh, homegrown veg on the sink, yes you can. Uh, homegrown tomatoes. Now first thing I'm going to do is skin them. There's one has a slight blemish on it so I'm going to remove that first as well. So, uh, skinning tomatoes is pretty straightforward. All you need is some boiling water and uh, Oh, hang on. <coughs> I say, oh, you need some boiling water, and you drop the tomatoes in, and then pour the water away, and the skin comes off the tomatoes. So the water's boiling. In go the tomatoes. Not for very long, and. The idea is that the skin separates from the tomatoes and uh, you can then use the inside of the tomato. So I'm just warming it up a bit more just to make sure it still stays hot. So I'll be pouring the water off in a moment and taking the skins off and putting them in another pan. I also intend to take out the, the centre um, piece with the where the stalk was, you know what I mean? I think that should be long enough with a bit of luck. So let's uh, see if it is. If it isn't I'll have to do it again. So in theory, I should now be able to remove the skins very easily. Without much trouble. They've been in a bit too long, they're rather hot. I think I'll let them cool down a bit. I'll take out the centre green bit on these two. Suppose in theory you could liquidise the skins and do the whole lot, but for the moment I'm not doing. I don't have a liquidizer, so I can't do that. It's 
going to message up this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add sliced onion and uh, some frozen peas. So you'll actually have three vegetables in here. kept them in a bit too long in the water so uh, I'm losing a little bit of the outside of the tomato especially the small ones they're uh, well and truly uh, skinned I'm going to use my potato masher to mash them up a bit. the tomatoes done and the result is is that okay anybody here watching at the moment or or not Holly J. Uh, did you see that what I just did then? If you want to give a, a shout in Frank's channel and uh, tell him what I'm doing. Sure, this onion is going to work out actually. Not that too good. Maybe it will. Now going in is this red onion. Um, I have done this with with dried onions before, 
um, but I couldn't get any. It seems that um, the powers that be have decided that dried onions are no longer something which we actually actually use. So there aren't any in stock. Uh, uh, there weren't any in stock at any of the places I went to look for them. So I gave up looking. Now, uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to work or not. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm just trying it. This is a completely, completely random attempt, is this. So I've got the onion uh, on a plate and I'm chopping it up. Hopefully into small pieces. And the idea is to cook it quite slowly. It might take uh, several minutes to do this. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe longer, I don't know. I've never actually tried it with a real onion before. As I say, last time it was with dried onions. So, this is a total experiment. In fact, I suppose I could microwave it. That would be a possibility, wouldn't it? of onion flying everywhere at the moment. But I think if anything I've got too much onion. Oh well. now got chopped onion. You can see that's a knot. And that's going in with the tomatoes. Now I have no idea how long this is going to take. But part way into it, I'm going to drop in straight from the packet, frozen peas. So that's now on the, on the gas, a low heat, because I don't want to burn it. Well I should have done that, shouldn't I? I forgot that. How do you do in VARS? Is it an exclamation mark or a, or a forward slash? I've forgotten. See if it works with a forward slash. Oh, it's weird. Oh, good. Oh, that's weird. making ominous bubbling noises already. The point out is that there's no water in here in this soup at all, no water added. It's just uh, the juice from the tomatoes and that's it. No water.
I'm not going to have any salt and pepper either. I'll wait till I've finished it and see how it goes. Hmm, nobody, nobody arriving. What have I been up to today? Not a lot. Um, I've just been 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 shopping a bit. Uh, done a bit, a little bit of tidying up in here. This table, believe it or not, is tidy and it's been for years at the moment. You can actually see the table, which uh, you've not been able to before. Uh, I didn't go to Sainsbury's because Sainsbury's isn't open. They're busy uh, reinstalling the store. Hello, Frankie. Frankie, you're not that. You're not the Frankie who uh, has some names tattooed on his bottom, are you? You've got a new Asda, have you? Oh. Hi, Andy. No, I don't believe you're the Frankie. You're the Frankie with a tattoo on his bottom. I don't believe you. You've just picked the name. You, you've, you, you haven't even got a picture on it. You've only got a question mark. So uh, I'll, I'll just say hello to you, but that's it. <laughs> Not a good sight. I don't know. I didn't see it. Actually, on here, on here, you can't prove it because you're not supposed to show uh, tailbones or things like that. So I wouldn't bother. Yeah, you get banned exactly. What? A new store had kids riding, riding scooters. Did it? No, 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 don't, no, don't even try it. I mean, there was a guy who tried that before and he's been banned ever since. Uh, begins with K and ends in ether. Uh, anyway, excuse me, I must go and look at my soup. Hang on. It smells quite good actually, so far. It's tomato soup with onions, with red onion. Ah, oh, the chat has finally appeared. Good. I was not at the pub today. No, I, I, I do not frequent pubs, I'm afraid. Let's just adjust this chat a bit. Hang on a minute. Well, I, I never actually got. I, I don't like smoking, basically. So I I've never actually gone to pubs because of all the smoking, and I never got into the habit. And uh, now that now they're non-smoking, I'm well. I just haven't gone. Haven't bothered, basically. And uh, I don't think uh, the nearest pub would be a very good idea to go into it because there'll be kids from the school there, and I don't think that'll be a good idea. To be honest, hello. Somebody's somebody's me boy me upstairs. I can just I just heard a, the me boy ping upstairs. Um, well, you can't when, you, when you've got your. Uh, no, the underage kids don't drink in the school. They some most of them, most of them don't. They usually get it from a supermarket. At least I think that's what they do. Yeah, they do. Make a nuisance of themselves.
Well, uh, probably, probably they do, yes. If they get the chance, that is. <coughs> right, excuse me again, I must go to the stove again. You know, I've forgotten to say to note when I started doing this. Um, oh, is that right, Andy? 18 is for buying alcohol, yeah. So, uh, it's why they lurk around outside off licenses, uh, waving money at, at people who. who to go in and buy it for them and um, I'm not sure that's well it's partly legal I suppose the trouble is a lot of them drink too much in fact, uh, there's going to be an outbreak of liver disease, to say the least. Yeah, exactly, Frankie. Very good point. Hey, have you seen, Andy, there's been um, two lots of fake vodka in Manchester the last, last day or two? Um, hang on a minute, I'm just going to get the paper. Here we are. It's got it's it's drop vodka and Smirnoff vodka fakes. They're deadly. Absolutely deadly. next ingredient for my soup is going to be some frozen peas. So I'm going to get those out.
Okay. Pochine, that is, uh, that's potatoes, I think. Potato alcohol. Uh, you probably run cars on it, I would think, yeah. Quite definitely, you could run cars on it. Well, if you smell it, you're effectively tasting it anyway, really, you think about it. Because, uh, you know, the fumes get to your taste buds just the same way. I mean, there's no, there's no real difference. Right, now, frozen peas are supposed to take three minutes to cook, so... Uh, Bought for three minutes, so I think this has been going for about a quarter of an hour. So let's try the put the frozen peas in now. And stir them in. Let it come back to the boil for about three minutes. Oh, very funny, Andy. You're, you 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 should be on the um, the X Factor as a comedian, I think. Or well, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned X Factor with uh, with our visitor here. I don't know. Does X Factor ever have comedians on it? Or is it always singers? And reason reason I'm asking is I never watch it. So uh, I believe there's this this person's on it. I believe she's on it. And talk about a, a, a strange image. That is a really really weird image for a singer. I mean, what does she do? Rap or what? Yeah, Misha B. Oh, she raps. Well, that figures, yeah. Well, strictly speaking, rapping isn't singing, is it? I mean, the rapper is called the MC or the microphone chanter. Yeah, she's not that well liked, that's quite true. Right, so we've got three minutes of, of cooking for the peas. Let's go and give them another stir. I do hope this is going to taste alright after all this palaver. Well, the image, the picture that I've just said, the image she's putting forward looks that way, yeah. Oh, I see, Midwest has arrived as well. Not said anything yet, but he's arrived. I haven't changed the title, I'm afraid, Midwest, Midwesty. You know, they brought back the condensed soup now. Where you get twice as much soup in the can. 
the can's smaller as well. Is it? Is it? It is Camels that do the condensed one, isn't it? I think it is, anyway. The trouble is, Andy, with the condensed ones, there's, there's too much for one. You probably have two lots of meals with it. Two, have it twice. I suppose you could actually keep it in the fridge. This soup smells quite good, actually. I suppose I could have put some cream in this, couldn't I? I think you come to think about it, but I haven't. I haven't didn't have any, so I haven't done. So what it is, it's. Um, hello, what's that? Camel's then soup. What? Yeah, they brought it back this week, didn't they? Or, uh, or July? No, so that 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 long ago, right? Well, I don't have any, so I can't. Right, well this should almost be ready now, I think. So what it is, it's fresh tomato, uh, red onion, and frozen peas in the soup. Does it? chat box covers everything in the kitchen it surely it shouldn't do yes I am really that's strange you should have two cameras Midwesty uh, a scrolling thing and um, the cast up in the top right hand corner hmm that's odd Well, that's that's where I see the corner of the cast. The uh, the chat box just touches the, the right hand corner of the cooker. Anyway, the three minutes is up. Now for the acid test.
very hot very hot indeed at the moment so I think uh, I'll cut a bit of bread as well to go with it there's no salt on it yet either and no pepper I'm going to put a little bit of salt in it and a touch of pepper Okay, now uh, while that's cooling down a bit, I'll just uh, get some bread. Did you mention that to Dylan the other day, Andy? I seem to remember you talking about following not working. Actually, is the followers thing in the chat part? It is, isn't it? It might be now they've changed this server. I 
that's what's supposed to happen. Unless you've got the settings wrong, it should tell you when somebody's online. Did you get messages when when I was online here? See, what I'm wondering at the moment is this chat is popped out. Does it does that count as being actually broadcasting if the chat's popped out? Right, so did you actually find out I was find the channel was live before you got the email, Andy? I didn't invite anybody I don't think to start with. In fact I don't think I've got many people that I, who I follow on this channel to be honest. I can't look at it just now because the channel's not on. But maybe I'm not following many people on here. That's a possibility. You saw it in Franks, did you? You saw me the message in Franks. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but um, It depends how efficient the emailing system is from the app, from the JTV end, I would have thought, whether it actually gets to you or not. Sorry about that. No, oh, Cabana's working anyway, that's one thing. Well, this soup, I'm glad to say, is good. Well, there is Pigeon Post. Uh, there is Pigeon Post, uh, Midwesty. Oh, the Agra emails from, from Canada, yes, I, uh, I think I get those as well.
Well, apparently it's cheaper to send um, uh, drugs from Canada than other places. So I hear. Well, I suppose, Frankie, if you are the real Frankie, you could send that send a message back saying, "I'm sorry, my backside is full." Um, I'm sorry, that was not not a good way of putting it. Oh, those money laundering ones, yeah. They say you want they want to put money into your account. Uh, please, would you give us? your bank details and then what happens then is they empty your account instead of filling it What's the upper limit on PayPal? Oh yeah. Those ones about please click this site to stop your bank account being closed. More often than not you get them from banks you've never even heard of. All you need to do is hover over the link and you'll see that the link is actually not the right link. Yeah, but all you have to do is hover over the link and look at the bottom of the screen. Hover over the, hover, hover over the link and look down here at the bottom of the screen and you'll see in the bar at the bottom there will be a different address. Excuse me a minute, I must just check something. I want to check that something's not started on the TV. We'll be back shortly.